Senator Kim Reynolds is trying to get more support for the historic tax cut for Iowans that she's proposing. She wants to imp uh, impose a flat tax of 4% for Iowa state income taxes, and that would be 5.5% for Iowa corporations. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW Iowa City reporter Travis Breeze after looking into the Democrats' critique of this plan and also the governor's response. We know the Democrats can't do much about it, but they certainly have opinions about that. Tell us more, Travis. Ron, corporate tax is the tax that corporations pay on their earnings. Now, across the country, there is a flat rate of 21 percent, and individual states can impose their own. Iowa has a 9.8 percent max uh, corporate tax rate, and that is one of the highest in the country. Governor Reynolds thinks that we need to attract more businesses into our state by lowering that. But Democrats say that we should uh, capitalize on the money that's already coming in and use it to fund our public schools. During a stop at a Des Moines area business on Wednesday, Governor Reynolds said Iowa is losing businesses to states like South Dakota and Nebraska. They're going north and they're going west because of the environment. And so we need to get in the game. We need to do it responsibly. Her proposed solution is to gradually lower the corporate tax rate until it hits 5.5%. Democrats claim the state would lose out on $300 million by doing this and proposed a bill on Tuesday to spend that amount on education. We cannot give a tax cut to corporations and we can use the same amount of money and give it to kids instead. House Minority Leader Jennifer Confirst says the 4% income tax rate is troubling as well. She says just because the state had a $1.24 billion surplus last year does not mean we can cut taxes forever. Once you cut taxes, they're cut. And so you need to look at the budget implications long beyond just taking from the surplus. The governor says the income tax will be staggered over four years and they will be able to maintain funding for education. I wanted uh, Iowans to know that we're not going to be irresponsible. We're still going to be able to fund education and public safety, water quality issues that are important to Iowans. Reynolds told reporters today that her office has done a lot of modeling and projections about how the state's economy might grow and why they feel confident that both of these tax cuts are doable. I asked her press secretary for copies of those projections today to look at them myself, uh, but we did not get a copy of them before this newscast tonight. Live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, thanks so much. In addition to the governor's proposals, the Senate and the House in Iowa also have their own tax plans. Now, the House plan does not even touch corporate taxes. The Iowa Senate plan does drop corporate taxes to 7.8%, but not as low as the governor's plan of 5.5%.